Hey there guys, how's it going? Jack Reaper here today, we're in Fallout 4, right here at Merkwater Construction Site. And we're on PT3, it's the second to last one that we're going to do on PT3. Um, the next one is Finch Farm, which was actually the last one on the on my play, my third my third playthrough. It was the last settlement that I actually built before I moved over and started playing 76. So I've saved that one for last as well to put out. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. I it was in it's in the walled settlement one. The, the door had been put on the uh, a, a random side, which had made me rethink how I was actually going to do the settlement, which was quite quite nice actually. We're going to go 76 and start playing that play about, for about eight months straight. Was the only thing I play. So um, yeah, we come down here. We have got some crops. Got defence on that side, and then we've got a little clothing store over there, and then we'll head up into the little armour shop here. So we'll have a little look up there. They've got the uh, power armor that they're working on. It'd have been nice to junk decorate, but again, in these older playthroughs, I didn't, I didn't bother with the decorating, the junk decorating things like that. I have since I've come back to Fallout 4 after 76. Uh, I have started junk decorating and making the settlements look a little bit more lived in, should I say? Um, and we come up here. We've got the weapons store. We've got some of the workbenches and that here. I am thinking, I've done, obviously I've got quite a few little uh, builds that I've been working on. Um, we did the let's build at the castle. Um, we did the let's build on 76. I've done a junk, like a scrap yard, sort of junk yard at Finch Farm, which has to come out. I've done the sanctuary for that playthrough. Um, and I've done a Taffington Boathouse build on that playthrough. I've done a Starlight build, which I was mentioning back in the Let's Build of the uh, castle. I was talking about doing some, I'd, I'd done some crates and used them as like a foundation piece to build the settlement on. Um, and I did that before I found out about the stairs and then when i found out about the stairs i moved over and started a whole new playthrough and now i've come back to that playthrough where i've done the starlight and i've started doing the uh the builds in there which is where i've built the castle now that build there i'm going to um i'm thinking of doing all them as I normally do with the Minutemen. But I'm also thinking of starting another playthrough and trying to do some maybe some raider settlements. Um just small little raider settlements, dressing up the settlers as raiders and stuff and, and I've got to have a little look on my USO mod and see what actual pieces I have and see whether it's something that I could possibly do. But um I'm thinking I might do it. It's something a bit different. It'll uh, probably Hopefully, give me a bit of inspiration. So we'll see if that'll come in the future. Um, up here, I could have put a little toilet in there, but I didn't. You know, I feel on the plumbing side of things. They don't have any plumbing, so what, the toilet would be useless. They'd need to either use a bucket so they can get rid of it, or they need to go out and dig themselves a hole. As far as I'm concerned, because they ain't putting in no pipes. <laughs> We ain't got no sewage systems, not no no nowhere for it to go, nowhere at all. Even if the toilet was plumbed in, there's no running water through the drains anymore. So it'd all just get clogged up. Yes. So we head down here and through being up there, that structure was very floaty above the bar, but um I think there is. If they're all dead drunk and the building falls on top of them they won't know anyway, so <laughs> We'll leave it at that because them spendy legs aren't held in a two-story structure on the top of there. These older builds, man, they're crazy. They're crazy. We've got some more defence up here. Again, turrets absolutely everywhere. I remember I absolutely loved, <laughs> loved this build. And it just, it's a bag of balls, isn't it? Oh, my God. So we've got a little storage area here. I started doing these a little bit more and stuff, filling in spaces with the boxes and stuff. And I still do that. I like that. Breaks up areas. We've got a little clinic up here. We've got kind of two chemistry workstations as well. A little desk for working out the back. Doing the admin and stuff, keeping notes. So we'll come round the back now and we'll go up onto the top. Now this wall at the back end, it's just a big wall that's uh, got a load of turrets on and then a load of little guard posts and some storage and boxes and different things up here as well. 
We're looking out there and we see that Maya Lurk. Yeah, there he is. Just bring it over, let the defences do it. We will waste the ammo. There we go. Done. Don't even think the guy with the minigun stood around here. He even got a shot a shot off there. The uh, automated defence just dealt with it straight away. Which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. So there's all our storage at the end. Little boxes and tools and different things that I need. Have a little look over the settlement from here. So we've got the water in the... Uh, we're sorry, we've got the water purifier there. We head down... And round, and we'll go up here. And there's a little, little defense press here to the right. Got some of the uh, generators there. Probably not the best place sat in the water. Quite nice that the lights have stayed working. The uh, spotlights. Normally, when you fast travel into places, the spotlights don't work, but seem to work this time. But I'm not complaining. We've got a little area up here. Got the uh, drunk wall going across there as well. I've used the mats to get them to uh, sit next to each other. And then a little defense post here. Head upstairs, we've got the crate on top of the foundations. And then up on the top, we've got another little defense place as well. Just need a lot of defense down here in the south. We've got feral ghouls, we've got the uh, the Myalurks. So it needs to be well defended over here. The barrels on the wood, not something I do that much anymore, but I used to do it all the time. I, to, I just love them barrels. I like the look of them barrels. And the um, yeah defence is right down here, but where we've not had enough wood to fill in the uh, wall, we've put in some chain link fences, and hopefully the chain link fence will hold them back, and we can take them out before they break through it. Quite easy to shoot through a chain link fence, you would have thought. Another bit of defence down here, a little seating area. And that's going to be it for this settlement. So it was a little quick one at Merkwater on PT3. If you've liked it, please hit the like button. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Because that's... Uh, I'd, love, I'd love it for happen if the channel can get a little bit bigger. But otherwise, thank you for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.